AI writers are not new. In fact, they are more popular now than ever. Some of them are evolving to the point that they can mimic human writing with scary precision. And that's why they are being called undetectable. So we decided to put them on a test. And the best way to do it is to actually put them up against the best AI content detectors out there and find out if AI writers are truly undetectable nowadays. Have AI content detectors advanced to the point that they can sniff out any AI written text? And here's a fun fact. Me and my colleague John did a blind test with the same exact tools and something very interesting happened. Both of us had the same tool as the winner. For this challenge we have 5 undetectable AI writers aka humanizers and we're gonna put them against 6 AI content detectors. On the humanizer side we have Bypass GPT, Humbot AI, Humanize IO, Uncheck.ai and UPass.ai and AI text detectors are gonna be CopyLeaks, Originality.ai, GPT0, Quillbot, Writer.com and Winston AI. First of all let's start with the pricing. This is how much we paid for each subscription. This is our total for the AI writers, bringing us to this grand total. Now for the undetectable AI writers, the deal is simple. All of them function pretty much the same. You feed them an AI generated text and then you click humanize. And they're pretty much gonna turn the AI text that you fed them into something that's more human and can technically bypass any AI detector out there. All right, and just to be fair, we are going to use the same base text for all of the tools that we're gonna use in this video. For that, we're gonna use the almighty chat GPT. So let's create three different texts, each of them containing around 1000 characters. First of all, we're gonna have a text about the signing of the Declaration of Independence. After that, a cover letter for a job interview for a software engineer job. And finally, a fictional story about a fairy tale land with unicorns and rainbows. Next up, the same goes with AI detectors. You feed them the humanized text from each humanizer and they're gonna tell you if the text is generated by AI or not. The result is usually in percentages. So this is a good reason for me to not give you my personal opinion, but I will actually write down the score for each tool. And in the end, I will tell you which one is the best based on call numbers, not opinions. If the percentages are high, it means that a big chunk of the text is AI generated, which is bad. On the other side, if they are low, it means that the detectors could not pick the text as AI, which means that the humanizer is good. Right off the bat, right before even starting this challenge, Winston AI kind of crashed on us. As you can see right here, I have 200,000 credits left and anytime I try to do a new text scan, it gives me this error, tells me that my trial has ended, they ask me to upgrade my plan and when I select the plan, they tell me that I already have a subscription with them and when I click continue, it brings me back to this screen right here. I tried doing this like five different times, it's the same every single time. So they are pretty much disqualified. Let's get started with the first humanizer tool which is Bypass GPT. Let's copy and paste each of these three texts from ChatGPT into Bypass GPT and let's humanize them. First detector, copy leaks. Text number one and two, they gave us a 100% AI generated and text number three, which is about unicorns, it gave us a score of 0%, which means that it's 100% human. The average here is 66%. We're gonna do the same exact process with each and every tool. Now the best humanizer out there is humbot.ai with an average score of 22%, which means that throughout all of the 15 tests that we did, all of the AI text detectors collectively put together came to the conclusion that only 22% of the AI generated text by humbot.ai was actually AI text. In contrast, this means that 78% of the text was picked up as being written by a human. This is very impressive, humbot. On the other polarizing side, we have humanize.io, which has the biggest score on this list of 61.4%, which means that all of the AI detectors collectively came to the conclusion that more than 60% of the text that was humanized with this tool was picked up as AI written text. A very good mention of upass.ai because they had amazing scores, but for some weird reason, GPT-0 gave it the worst score of 100% for all three of its humanized texts. If we were to just take GPT-0 out of context here, average for upass would be around 12%. On the other side, if we're going to talk about the AI detectors, I think that GPT-0 is the most aggressive one and writer.com is the most indulgent. So if you want to write a text about the Declaration of Independence or something similar and you don't want anyone to know that you used AI, the best tool to use is upass.ai. If you want to write a letter of recommendation and you don't want them to see that you've used AI, I would go with Humbot. And if you want to do the same with a fictional story, upass.ai is the app to use. What I found interesting is that the results are not always the same and the best AI content writers 
can easily be beaten by the best AI content detectors, and vice versa. But what do you think? How good would these detectors and writers become in the future? Right now, they are doing much better than they used to do back in the day, but they are still not perfect. Let me know in the comments, guys. One more thing before leaving, don't forget to check out There's an AI for That, the biggest website for AI tools in the world. And don't forget to like this video to help us with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to our channel if you want to get a notification when we are posting new videos. And as always, have an amazing day. Until next time.